All right, everybody, we're back with the guys on Ask Us Anything on the Trap Talk Podcast. As always, email us at askus at traptalkpodcast.com. This question is coming in from JT. I have only been shooting registered for about a year now. I have some pretty decent scores for the limited time that I've shot. My question is about stress and pressure. When you're shooting and what helps you guys overcome this? During practice or just for fun, I have feel no pressure and uh, I step up to the line for a registered shoot. My heart starts beating hard out of my chest. My eyes won't work right and I can't remember how to shoot. <laughs> Any tips or pointers from you guys uh, that you could throw out there of what you do in these situations? Thanks, JT. P.S. Love the podcast. So, JT. Uh, you're, you're not in this boat alone, my friend. <laughs> so we got stress and pressure here when we hit the line. So uh, Go this ahead, is your thing. Yeah. Well, I think you have to understand that the targets are the same, whether you're practicing or whether you're in a tournament. So you have to have that realization, but if your brain still takes and kicks in and says, Hey, what am I going to do here? A lot of the time, something that I'll use because you have to acknowledge that you're in that space. You have to know, okay, I'm nervous. Right. I'm in a spot of nervousness. I feel those nerves. I know I'm there. I'm trying to get my heart rate down. I'm trying to work on breathing. There's something called box breathing that you can Google, and it's what the Navy SEALs use. And there's other types of breathing techniques that can help bring you down. But whenever I'm getting more anxious and getting wound up, I'm trying to focus on the fundamentals and go back to what we learned in practice. Am I mounting the gun correctly? Am I on the stock? Am I looking at the target, right? So if you're going all kinds of different ways and you feel yourself, you know, jittery, slow it down a little bit and try to get into the mm. moment and relax and breathe and realize that you can't be beat by anyone if you hit your targets. If you hit your targets, no one can beat you. And just, just have fun. Like just relax, have fun and enjoy the time and go out there and do the best that you can do. That's everybody deals with the, with the nerves. And if you don't deal with the nerve, yeah. you should, you, you should probably, you don't it, care. Right? I mean, yeah. I still feel it. And, and, and I know Ricky will talk about this, but everyone gets nervous at some level when it's something that they haven't done before you're treading in, in uh, uncharted waters, you start to say, Oh man, I right. haven't been this many straight in a while. And you start to feel those butterflies. Yep. That's a good thing. And you can channel that nervousness mm. into excitement. And that channeling is very, very valuable for your shooting. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And that, that's what I always state is you, you got to revert back to what you've done. Um, just think positive at all times. You know, I always call it, you got your subconscious mind is your, your devil and your conscious mind is your angel. And you got to have your angel talking over your, your, uh, your yeah. devil. Ricky, what if and I have two devils? <laughs> Well, Zach, in your case, okay, we, yeah. we call no yeah. hope the meaning. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sometimes I'm talking to myself in the third person. I'm telling myself, we got this. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. Because you have yeah. to drown out that fear that's coming up because your, your whole brain is programmed to want to relieve stress. And the way that that happens to you in trap shooting is it wants it to be over. You start rushing the last post. You start rushing, you know, you, you, you get out of your zone of shooting. You need to, like Ricky's saying, you have to consciously overcome those thoughts and combat them with positivity. 100%. We got this. I got this. Stay in it. I was going to say, you must be really listening to these oh, podcasts because okay. right, you're we'll sounding more it. like Ricky every day. <laughs> Sorry. I do. Well, we're, when you we're spend all this time. Like, hey, trap talk with John Slinker now. Screw, screw Ricky and Jack. <laughs> He sorry, he's been, sorry, he's sorry, been sorry. writing some notes, yeah. people. He, he's taking notes. I can tell. Yep. No, yeah. that that I, is. You just gotta you gotta revert back all the time and and always think positive. And you know, it's it's like I say, we're not in the past, we're not in the future, we're in the now, in the present. One target yeah. at a time. And and I gotta you give know? a plug yeah. to Ricky for this because I mean, I've seen him under so many pressure situations. So many big scores yeah. that I've been on his squad and watched him finish. And he is just as smooth and calm going into those last five or last 10 as he is his first five or 10. And he's just like, okay, I'm walking over here. I got these targets to break. And he goes back to the process. And I've watched him do it a hundred times. And he just steady, ready, see it and make a good shot. And if he misses... What he doesn't do is he doesn't throw the shell or get angry or, you know, or change his, 
his his emotional status based on that because we still got more targets to shoot. You know, imagine yep, right. you, you you miss one on the last post for a ninety nine, and then you get all mad and you miss another one, right? I think that's the worst. Thing you get really right. mad. That's the worst thing. You can do. <laughs> then you get really really mad. Yeah. So 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 just try to keep your poise. Wish for the best. You know, work on the mm-hmm. best. But if something bad happens, that's okay because you probably got to fail a couple times before you're going to figure it out and do it. I messed up yeah, a lot. Of gotta, my, yep. I messed up my hundred straight before I ever got a hundred straight a few times. Right? Uh, you go into that last yep. box the first time, and usually you don't get seventy five straight and then go hundred straight and not mess up the first time. You usually get seventy five and then boom, you score yep. one, and you're like, "Oh man, I almost yep. did it!" And then you learn from it, right? So it's it's getting a little bit better from where you were last time. Every time you go out to shoot, that's the secret. Yeah, and you you got to think too that you have to be in that position to feel those feelings before you know how to deal with them. Bingo. If you're, if, if you haven't knocked on the door yet, when you, when you're coming into your first 25, you're going to have those feelings Shaking when you're coming like into your first like 50. Belief. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you just remember you, you're going to have to knock on that door a bunch of times before it lets you in and you're going to get that chance to feel what that last post feels like. And then next time you're there, it won't be as bad. That doesn't mean next time you're going to do it, but it just knows you're going to be familiar with that feeling and you'll be able to keep your poise like Zach is saying and keep it together. And then one of those times, you'll just keep it together through the whole thing and it'll happen. And then once your mind sees that you can hit that 100 straight, that you can finish, once you've been there one time, the reason you see a lot of these greats being able to replicate their success is because they know for a fact they can do it because they've done it. Once yeah. you've done something and your mind knows it's possible, you can replicate it. So just keep knocking on the door. Do not give up. Stay in it and be excited for the fact that you've got that far to where you could feel that feeling. So that, that's what I would suggest to everybody. Absolutely. All right, guys, thank you very much. That was a great question uh, from JT. We really appreciate it. As always, email us your questions to ask us at traptalkpodcast.com and we'll get mostly these guys to answer it for you. Thanks for the love, JT. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. All right, have a good one.